absolutely no evidence the U.S. has trashed its ploy. In a, strongly, in a strong message to Islamabad, the U.S. NSA has said, Pakistan must stop using proxies that engage in violence for its own interests. The U.S. NSA's comments come ahead of his meeting with Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. Meanwhile, as Sharif maintains silence on Jadav, he wants talks to resolve issues with India. Sharif resorting to old preach dialogue to establish peace in South Asia, but remain silent on Pakistan providing safe haven to terrorists like Hafiz Saeed and Lakhvi. We hope that Pakistani leaders will understand that it's in their interest to, to go after these groups less selectively than they have in the past. And that the best way to, to pursue their interests in Afghanistan and elsewhere is through diplomacy, not through the use of proxies that engage in violence. That is one advice Pakistan will not follow. Because proxy war means a great deal to them. There's a policy of thousand cuts that could be inflicted upon India. How do they do that without proxy, without proxy war? At least that's what their thinking is. I, I think these are only words. We welcome words which discipline Pakistan, which control Pakistan, and we welcome them. But at the end of the day, they are mere words. We have to get to action and concrete deliverables. The U.S. has made its views known in a constructive spirit without interfering with our root basic policy of bipartisanship, not trilateralism. U.S. has been consistent in giving this advice to Pakistan. Even earlier, Hillary Clinton, when she was the Secretary of State, she had visited Pakistan and rendered a similar advice that treat terrorist as a terrorist and don't uh, make a distinction between good terrorist and bad terrorist. Now, for more to the story, I'm joined live by Ashish. Ashish, clearly at some level or the other, Pakistan's elaborate uh, farce that it has put out has flopped and the U.S. has clearly uh, trashed this sort of mentality as far as Pakistan is concerned. That's right, Madhav. This strategy was never going to work for Pakistan. This is not the first time that Pakistan has resorted to the strategy of uh, trying to gain confidence of uh, a couple of uh, superpowers in the country and corner India and the international forum. Uh, remember, if you see uh, uh, the uh, in recent past at the United Nations uh, Forum, there have been series of comments by the uh, uh, Pakistan's uh, envoy in uh, United Nations, but that has not again uh, yielded any result, positive results for Pakistan. And this again, uh, the uh, particular attempt by Pakistan at the visit, the maiden visit of uh, USA's National Security Advisor General McMaster has completely failed. Uh, in fact, what Pakistan was trying to do is trying to gain the uh, uh, lost, uh, regain the lost ground that it had lost during uh, Barack Obama's regime after Osama bin Laden's, uh, Laden's operation in Abbottabad. This, this was a great opportunity for Pakistan to uh, regain that uh, uh, lost ground, but it has completely lost it. Instead of trying to regain that ground, what Pakistan was uh, focused towards is the uh, uh, cornering India strategy. That has never worked so far. And once again, uh, uh, the uh, uh, United States has completely snapped. In fact, the public warning by uh, NSA of uh, United States General McMaster clearly says that uh, Pakistan should refrain from uh, uh, using the proxies that indulge in violence to uh, pursue its uh, interests. That is something that has gone completely against uh, Pakistan. And if uh, the United States uh, National Security Advisor makes a public statement like this, it is no less than a warning for Pakistan. Now, what will India do? He has just, uh, the NSA of the United States has just arrived in India some 20 minutes ago. And uh, I'm told that the Indian government would like to capitalize on the uh, statement that was made by uh, USA's NSA. The entire agenda was set during the National Security Advisor of India, Ajit Doval's uh, uh, visit to uh, United States of America a couple of weeks ago. That was uh, uh, quite a uh, setting uh, platform for uh, India-US uh, relation. And I'm told that uh, the Indian government would uh, take it further during uh, this visit in next 24 hours. Well, yes, uh, and Ashish also very clearly, you know, now that he is here on Indian soil, clearly the Indian government would want to impress upon uh, McMaster what India's own demands are vis-a-vis -vis Pakistan, particularly the concerns India has on Kulbushan Jadav. See, there is an automatic uh, geographical uh, uh, the, uh, uh, division taking place. USA is aware that China is uh, the uh, uh, division taking place. 
USA is aware that China is uh, getting more uh, uh, authority over Pakistan and Pakistan is easily allowing that. USA is also aware how in the last couple of decades all that Pakistan has done on the name of fighting terror has just grabbed the USA's aid and has in fact utilized to uh, 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 shelter terrorists like uh, Masood Azhar, uh, Hafiz Saeed, Daud Ibrahim and few more terrorists. Uh, USA has personally been the victim during the case of uh, Osama bin Laden. So USA is aware that Pakistan is leaning more towards China. China and uh, Pakistan are trying to corner India. So there is no point uh, going towards Pakistan. And USA at this point of time giving more importance to the fastest growing economy in the world, that's India, uh, more importance to India than Pakistan. So it's a clear uh, diplomatic and uh, uh, geographical automatic uh, strategy that is taking place by the United States of America. In next 24 hours, I'm told that the Indian and U.S. Uh, NSAs will take a lot of uh, decisions on defense, on a diplomatic front, to take the uh, cooperation between India and U.S. Uh, to a slightly higher level than what was left by the General Mac, uh, McMaster's uh, uh, predecessor. Right. Uh, Ashish, uh, thanks so much for bringing us that update. We will, of course, uh, come back to you for more on the story. And Pakistan's elaborate farce flops, the U.S. has trashed.